Hi, my name is Lori Camrad, and I'm an instructional coach at Lewis Central Middle School. And today I wanted to share some information about a math teacher in my building named Corey Wollers, who I believe is bringing synchronous learning alive for her remote learning students. So this is Corey. Corey, Corey teaches eighth grade math. Currently, she is teaching sections of re basic regular eighth grade math course, along with a section of a couple sections of algebra. Families in our district do have are using the face-to-face -face option, and we do have some students currently on a remote learning option as well. Corey's one section of remote learning is for her regular eighth grade math course. The three things that I feel like Corey's really working towards getting more effective with her students on are br about bringing the classroom alive through authentic pacing, dissolving the screen, which is a concept described in the book, Teaching in the Online Classroom, Surviving and Thriving in the New Normal, as well as encouraging engagement despite the distance. So in the first clip I wanted to share with you is an example of students getting on her Zoom with Corey, as well as her starting to not only transition them into the learning, but getting them set up for the day. While everybody else is getting on, I am going to have you guys start with the first one here and just give you the first screen here. And what you're going to do is you're just going to push play and then you're going to tell me a story. Okay, tell me what's going on. What do you think? Like a lot of teachers, Corey is facing a lot of black screens where students are not wanting to turn their cameras on. Despite this challenge, I've seen Corey do lots of different things that helps to create this opportunity to just dissolve the screen. She does this by reading answers out loud that students are giving, building connections with students through different ideas that are outside of the necessary academic information, as well as continuing to preview and transition students into learning as though they were still in the classroom with her. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are racing. And the blue made it to the end before the red. Hey, tell me what's going on. Angelo, Leonardo, Donatello, I can't remember which one's blue, green, red, whatever colors they are. How are we doing? Ralph is red. Okay, good. R and R. I should know that. Gotcha. Okay. So if we look here, you guys. What we're going to do today is we're going to just really start to think about what's happening in this picture. So as I mentioned, Corey is facing a lot of black screens like lots of other people are noticing. What I wanted to share with you now is just a few of the pictures that I'm that I will help illustrate Corey's ability to continue to teach to them as though they were in the classroom using a lot of body language, a lot of inflection of her voice, and again, continuing to interact with them as though they were on the screen with her. These final clips I wanna share are examples of her encouraging engagement. As you heard before, and have noticed maybe on her screen, she is currently using a lesson called Desmos on this particular lesson. This allows her to push out interactive slides to students to to illustrate and practice the math content that they are discussing. And she, you'll notice her operating between the chat box as well as continuing to try to get students to unmute and engage with her verbally. Not who won, who is faster? How do you know that? Type it in the chat, will you please? Or unmute and share your responses. Hey Zane, go to slide two, go to slide two. Keep moving with us, all right? Remember the only way we're gonna get better 
as if we are participating, trying good. Yes, so glad you were with us now. All right, so if we go back to here, someone either put in the chat or share it out by unmuting yourself and let me know what did you put for the distance of the blue turtle at two? What was the blue turtle at two? How far did he go? Six, anybody agree with that? Seven, I got six, good, 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 okay. I just wanted to give say thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to share. I truly believe Corey is going through a lot what many teachers are across our country, and I just appreciate the opportunity to share and learn from others. Thank you.